guys, it's Ross at Food Travel Music Love.com, inspiration from the heart. Uh, I just wanted to show you my little run around that I've hired for the um, period that I'm here over in Crete. Uh, quite a swanky little number, I think you'll uh, agree. It's, uh, it's doing the job for me, just a little two door Fiat, um, gets me around the island. Uh, it's about two hours to get to the other side of the island, I think. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing that in a couple of days. But I'm just having a little drive about now on day two. I'm heading out to a place called Sissy. Uh, no comments. We're going to go out and basically just have a little drive about, try and find a nice little tavern, and no comments on the hat. So I found my way down here to the village of Sissy. Um, never heard of it before. I'm um, kind of just doing this a little bit blind. This trip, just going out and about, seeing signs really, and just coming off the road and seeing where I end up. Um, but I like this uh, little area here already. Um, beautiful little rugged coastline, as you can see. Uh, you know, um, just nice little coves and things. It's just a bit different to seeing like packed beaches, you know, with breasts everywhere. You know, nobody wants to see that. Oh man, this place is beautiful. I'm really, really liking this. I'll tell you what, I've only been here like sort of 10 minutes down at this place and uh, as much as I like Kasana sauce, I'm already preferring this one first village I've come to. But uh, it's something more that I, you know, I'd like to appreciate. I think if you're in a couple, uh, it looks like a really tranquil, you know, fishing village. Um, and uh, yeah, it definitely meets with my approval. This place, loving it. We're on the little entrance road now, just getting into Sissy, the little village. And apart from the alarm going off in the background, brilliant timing. Just hear how peaceful this is compared to like the hustle and bustle of the sauce. Could you ride your bike a little bit quieter, please, mate? I know the way it has been worthwhile. Cause I have learned to live and you will live to learn. Your battle so you won't get hurt. I'll take your fevers and I'll banish all your goats. But there's one thing that I just can't control that's the pain when you're away. You'll be able to see in the background there, guys, that this is um, obviously a good place to come and get some fresh seafood. Um, three or four really nice looking seafood restaurants over here. So you might be able to tell in the background there, we've walked right through the other side of the village. Beautiful, beautiful place, like I said. If I'm totally honest, um, I really, really like the place, but I think I could only be able to stay somewhere like this for like three or four nights, maybe. Um, unless, definitely unless you were in a couple situation. So um, yeah, it's, it's really, really nice place. Lots of lovely little tavernas, fish places, uh, grilled meats, all the things you'd expect. And I didn't get any of it yet, so definitely time to eat. So I'm just outside the village of Sissy and I found this lovely little uh, taverna called Mike's Place. Got a menu here. I've had a little look down at the menu at the bottom of the road as well and it looks really, really good. Although, brilliant. The first time I sat down to actually have some food and do a little review, it might be about to rain, but hopefully not, hopefully not. It's interesting that it's called Mike's Place because that's kind of the kind of thing that you'd normally expect in like a Benidorm football pub. But no, it's proper traditional Greek looking stuff and uh, I'm looking forward to getting in. Set up by Mike in 1987, so that's why it's called Mike's. Didn't you guess that? Um, and this was only one of three restaurants in Sissy in, 19, uh, in 1987. So um, shows how all these kind of little fishing villages have developed, you know, uh, which is a good and bad thing, you know. Um, I'm sure a lot of the locals who just live here probably would quite like it to have just remained as it was, but there's always a flip side. It brings in a bit of tourism, a bit of revenue, uh, and we all need a little bit of that. Oh man, so looking through this, you've got a range of like starters. It's like two pages of starters, 
uh, chip pea balls, um, olives, fried onions. I mean, I don't know what fried onions would be as a starter, just some fried onions. But you know, there's so much potentially here to choose. So they've got Cretan snails. I mean, if I was in France, I'd probably just have to go with that, but I might not give snails a go just yet. Cretan sausages. Mm. I think I'm going to get two starters in, so as I get a taste and flavour for two different things, I think that would be the way to do this. Oh, Cretan sausages. It's a sausage. But, you know, I just want to see what Cretan star sausage means. If it means it's a sausage cooked in Crete, then it does what it says on the tin, I suppose. But, you know, I think there's got to be some little variation to it, surely. Cretan sausage. And I fancy this um, Saganaki fried crumbed cheese. Yeah. That just sounds, you know, foreign. So we're gonna have a little look in the kitchen and see just what they're coming up with. So that was amazing getting access to the kitchen there. Uh, really nice owner here, I assume it's the owner's wife, or it could be Mike, you can't judge anyone anymore. Um, but uh, it looked great in there. Some lovely, lovely food that was there, it's like kind of slow cooking and getting ready for like dinner later on. Um, I think there was uh, artichoke and carrot, there was some roast chicken, some potatoes. One of them you can see there is kind of bubbling away in the oven, uh, ready for service. You know, it's probably busier later on, people could have it now, but just lovely to get access to it. A really nice, clean looking kitchen as well. Price rise. Uh, I'm not sure how this compares to other kind of tavernas. I've had a little nose at menus, but I obviously haven't eaten here yet. Um, but compared to other creek prices, it probably is on par. We're just outside of like a main little tourist village. It's only a village, not a main town or city. But um, these starters are kind of between like three and six kind of euro each, depending on what you're having. So, you know, not too bad, I don't think. Some of the mains are like kind of uh, eight or nine euros. And obviously if you have like the fresh fish, because uh, you see there, some lovely fresh, fresh fish that came straight out. I've got to try a bit more fish. I need to get a little bit more fish into my diet, I think. Um, and you know, just going down to the chippy don't count, I don't think, really. If you're chucking it in a load of batter, you got to have fish as it is, you know, straight out of the sea into the mouth, you know. I mean, the fish might not see it that way, but I think that's the best way to do it. Me and Greece don't always go that well hand in hand um, because the mozzies uh, are all over me, um, unlike the local ladies. So the sun is coming on and off gradually because it's raining and sunny all at the same time. We do try and be um, as unbiased as possible and I don't like to just bang on about something if it's not that great. Like the hotel I'm staying at, the sun and sea apartments, for a real budget place I'd say yeah go for it, go for it. But to be honest with you, uh, uh, there's a bit of a list. The hot water rarely works, that sometimes the water doesn't work at all. Um, the fridge freezes things so I have to leave the fridge door open. <laughs> Um, there's quite a lot of ants that are there all the time, but you know the upsides are you got access to a nice pool uh, The people are really nice there, and it was only 140 quid So you know for 12 days ultimately you get what you pay for don't you? So they said that they grow everything uh, on their own farm like the olive oil and things Everything is produced by themselves here, which is a fantastic sign. I really really like that That's the sort of place I go to I will walk around for two hours around a village or a town to get to a place like that as opposed to just going to a standard high street restaurant. Uh -huh. So I assume, thank you. Thank, thank you very much, thank you. I'm not actually sure what it's what here. It actually looks like it's some, I don't know if this is separate to the other bit or all the other bits coming out as well, I really don't know. Because um, this isn't actually what I ordered. I'm gonna get into a bit of, a bit of beetroot. Oh, I haven't had beetroot for years. Mmm, mm. really, really nice, really soft, vinegary, a little bit bitter, a little bit sour. That's good, that. Definitely looks like tzatziki, something here, I would guess. You know, that on a little bit of the crispy bread. Mmm, you can probably hear that crisp, that's nice. Oh man, that is so fresh tasting. And the olive oil around the tzatziki. Oh, 
That's so nice, that's so, so good. Really, really crispy bit of toast or fried bread or something there with it as well. And there's this other big chunky bit, kind of a, that's a big bit of chunky toast there with some sort of sauce on it. Then um, I'm gonna say, unless you misunderstood my order, that this must be like a separate bit. So this is like some sort of toast with like feta and some sort of red sauce on it and all. Right. Mm. Mm. Oh. I'll say that, oh, mm. really nice aftertaste to that. I'll just say hello to the chap who's coming past, that might have been my, he had loads and loads of produce in his hand. He's obviously just been to the farm and the shop and got everything in. Ha oh. yes. Mm. Oh, it's really not overpowering, it's so light and fresh. Oh, I mean, to be honest, this is filling me up quite a lot. Because it's beautiful, beautiful food, and I'm not leaving any of it. So even if there is more coming, we'll bring it on, to be honest, bring it on. Oh, here we go, here we go, guys. That was lovely as well. Oh, Two fantastic. different style, Cretan Greek cheese and feta cheese. I put Ah, oh, it's fantastic. Try, okay, right? excellent. Thank you. And yeah, really nice. Thank, Thank you. you. That's um, it's tzatziki. Tzatziki. Is it? yeah, 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 that's really good. Thank you. Tzatziki, hot bit, cretan bread. Yeah. And normal bread. Excellent. Fantastic. Thank you. Oh man. This place gets better and better as the uh, afternoon goes on. She's proper spoiling me here. You, uh, you probably heard that there's some um, some uh, feta and some kind of creep cheese as well. <sighs> I think this is some of the creep one, so I'm going to go in with the creep and cheese and then try a bit of the feta. I think obviously creep is you know specific to creep clearly, and well, the feta is all over Greek, uh, all over Greece, so it's nice to have a combination. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that is um, that is a stunning bit of cheese. It's it's probably kind of um, like a like a a softer sort of cheddar style. Um, there'll be people coming in saying it's absolutely nothing like that at all. I'll try a little bit of lime on one of them, I think. It's there for a reason. Oh, that feta! Look at that. That's proper oozing out. Let's try the feta. Mm. Oh, that goes so well with that little bit of lime, just a touch of lime on there. That's fantastic. I'm going to give the sausages a go while they're there because they're hot. Hello. Hello. Right. <laughs> oh, that looks. <laughs> okay, thank you. This is. The potatoes and carrots as well come out now. Look. Um, I won't be eating for another week. She brought me out a little sample of the uh, carrots and potatoes as well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. Right. Mmm. Mmm. Got. Cool. I'm in a bit. Ah. Oh, those Cretan sausages. They were lovely. Um, paprika, garlic, um, like a lot of kind of um, Mediterranean sausages, they're, they're a little bit kind of chewy, you know, don't expect like a traditional like Cumberland style thing, but I wouldn't want a Cumberland sausage while I'm in Greece. Let's get into some of this tasty. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Might cut it, you know, a little bit of decorum, you know what I mean? Mm. Oh, beautifully, beautiful, beautiful, soft, soft tasty going on there. <laughs> this is just uh, an absolute feast of food here. I've definitely now got to sit and eat all of this, haven't I? Because it would be proper rude not to. And you know what? I'm going to enjoy every single mouthful of it. Get yourself down here to Mike's Tavern, just outside Sissy. It's, it's perfect, it's stunning. Mm. 
the thing with the sausage is you've got to have a good balance of you know textures cereals whatever else they put in but sausage has got to have a bit of natural fat if I'm at home I do often go for like the lean sausages the fat free ones and to be honest they're absolutely pony sausages like this are how they should be done you've got to have you know a good sort of 20 30 percent fat at least if you've seen my other videos you know I like to try and try a little combination of two things together especially if it's like chutneys and a cracker or cheese and a spicy sauce or something you know you need to really see how these things go um, so I've got to try some of the tatey there that's got some of the, um, the nice little uh, locally made olive oil with one of these Cretan sausages That combination is amazing. This is nearly beating me, this. It was only a starter, but oh, I forgot I had that first bit as well, didn't I? Artichokes, potatoes, sausage, two types of cheese, salads, all of the tzatziki, the toast, the bread, the beetroots, brilliant. The boss. Oh, okay, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're welcome. <laughs> Speciality. Orange ah. shake. Oh, orange wow. Pie. Or Milk from the goat. Ah, okay. Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Orange, the hot made shake. Ah, oh, okay. Fantastic, that looks beautiful. <laughs> and in there we got milk from the goat. Yeah. So, there we just met. That was the owner, Mike, and a lovely looking homemade cod of that orange cake. And they had milk there straight from the, straight from the goat. Um, it's fantastic seeing food being produced this way. Uh, you've got to get yourselves out of Nando's, get out of McDonald's, and get some proper, good local grub down here every day, all day. <sighs> amazing, amazing. Well, guys, I think this has pretty much beat me now. I've literally had nearly all of it, like everything that I could possibly get down me. It's been a fantastic experience. I'd already said I'd fallen in love with Sissy before I even found this place. And you know, it's it's proper honeymoon feeling. This is this is amazing, beautiful place. If you get over to Crete, come and find Sissy. It's just up the road from um, Malia and Hassanisos. It's only about 25 minutes away from there. Um, a really quiet little village and definitely get yourself into Mike's Tavern. Hello my friend. Uh, ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this <laughs> orange shake and the milk from the fresh milk. Ah, okay. Cheese. This is this is what um, was shown in the. Yeah. Yes, of course, my friend. And this is uh, liqueur on the rosa, the flower. Ah, oh, wow, wow. Okay. It's very, very nice. Oh, this is a beautiful little um, kind of sample of the uh, kind of the the milk. Kind of, I think that's that's obviously some of the orange cake, and this is like um, I don't know, kind of is it just milk put into a ah oh, like a milk cake. <laughs> Oh. That is so, so, oh, so delicate. Beautiful, beautiful, subtle flavours there. I'm going to try a little bit of this orange cake. That kind of, that's kind of like a um, really thick kind of milk into like a little milk cake, I think. Um, this. Oh, that smells really nice. I know this is going to be good. It's soft and moist to touch. Oh, that is a lovely, lovely bit of orange cake. <clears throat> a little bit festive, slightly festive with the orange, a little bit of cinnamon in there. I think that's probably a little dusting of cinnamon just on the outside there. Um, I've got to have all of this, haven't I? It's a bit rude not to. I only came in here for one starter. I'm going to try a little bit of this. Um, I'm not going to try and re-pronounce what he said, because I only heard the word once, but it began with L, and I know it's kind of um, uh, rose water, kind of, or, or a drink from the rose. It's a drink. Turkish delight, Turkish delight in a glass. Oh yeah. Weirdly, I'm not a big fan of Turkish delight, but that 
in liquid form. It's stunning. That's really, really nice. I don't think it's alcoholic. Well, it better not be. <laughs> I don't know what the Greek prisons are like over here, driving back. Although it has got, it's got a strong flavour, but I don't think it's alcoholic. I don't, I don't think it's alcoholic. Mm. The last mouthful of food here at Mike's place in Sissy, and it's been an amazing experience. Mm. Super soft. Ah. Amazing, amazing stuff. I can't say enough superlatives about this place. So all I want to do is say, Yamas, get down to Mike's place. Fantastic. Can't recommend it enough. Cheers. Foodtravelmusiclove.com. Inspiration from the heart. Thank you guys. Cheers. <laughs>